Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn, I am so grateful you are here with me. And today I am going to talk a little bit about who I am, what I do, and why I do what I do. So if this is your first time here, on this channel, in this space, I share a lot about self-love, woman empowerment, and my own personal journey, what I go through, and life on Maui. That's where I live right now. So I share a lot about my own process, and today I want to talk a little bit about why I do the work I do, how I got to this point, and what it's like to work with me, or what I do besides just post on YouTube. Being a YouTuber is such a small part of what I actually do, although I love creating YouTube videos and creating content and connecting with you guys this way. My true passion and what I actually love to do and what I consider my main job is being a self-love coach and helping women through the shadow process of self-love. Helping them look at themselves, love themselves, accept themselves, work through their shadow, work through their limiting beliefs, and really step into their power, own who they are, accept their body, and love themselves fully. So. This all began for me through my own healing journey. I used to have an eating disorder, I used to want to be a model and try to change and manipulate my body to be able to do so. I wanted validation, I wanted to feel beautiful, but I wasn't accessing that from within. I was really, really leaning on other people's opinions and other people's praise and approval. And this all shifted for me when I decided to quit modeling and recover from my eating disorder and started this YouTube channel. So being on here and showing my journey has been such a huge part of me being able to step into my own personal power and do what I do. But like I said, what I'm really passionate about is working with women one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, holding space for them to share, to be themselves, to feel, to talk from their heart and to work through the things that are holding them back, to share these stories and limiting beliefs that have kept them from really embodying their truth and their power. I love to facilitate that space, to hold that space. I love to share vulnerably about my own journey and what I've been through in order to help others feel safe to do the same and to reclaim themselves and feel less alone in this world. I'm super passionate about bringing women together, about transcending that sisterhood comparison and letting that go. I really believe in the divine feminine rising, in this sacred feminine energy that's within all of us being activated and us choosing to show up in the world with more compassion and more love in our heart, which I think is ultimately what I am here to embody myself, to be loving and compassionate and kind and non-judgmental and accepting of being a human and all that comes with that. I'm really passionate about balance and allowing myself and others to not judge themselves or constantly feel like we need to transcend or be completely pure or completely move through our shadow, but to learn to accept it and integrate it in a way that makes us more wholesome and embodied as human beings when we're not judging others or thinking we're better or worse, but just showing up as we are, truly and fully as we are, accessing our compassion and our love and being that in this world. I really feel like this is one of the most healing paths we can go on because we are not shaming ourselves or others through this acceptance and this compassion. We're learning to accept the parts of ourselves that aren't perfect and to allow them to be so, so we can just be a human being and enjoy life while we're here, which I feel like is so important. In my work, I really love holding space for women like I talked about a little while ago. I love getting women either one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting and allowing everyone to be seen and heard and share vulnerably from their heart, from their pain, to be witnessed in that space so they can learn to see it and look at it and accept it themselves. And not accept it and stay there, but accept it and work through it and be able to really alchemize it to extract the lessons, the jewels, the gems that they can take with them into their lives to be a more embodied, healthy, vibrant version of themselves. I feel really, really passionate about emotional health and understanding as women our cyclic nature, how our bodies work, how we can be in tune with ourselves and our emotions, how to understand our minds and how energy works so we can utilize these as tools to be on top of our well-being, to be better, more compassionate human beings, to be a better vessel for that divine feminine energy. I feel really passionate about 
balance and not swaying too far to either side and finding a place in the middle where you feel good and you feel aligned and you feel like you're taking care of yourself, where you're happy with your body, mind, and spirit, not because you are forcing yourself to be a certain way or doing something that's not sustainable, but creating a lifestyle that's conducive to self-love so you're constantly showing up for yourself, constantly taking care of yourself, and constantly leading from your heart, which I feel like is the most important thing. We are all so different and so unique. We have different things we offer this world. And I like to hold the space for women to be able to see and acknowledge their gifts so they can begin to accept themselves fully for who they are and let go of comparison or competition or wanting to be something they are not so they can really claim who they are because that's where the true medicine is and the true magic. And from that place, they can go out into the world and do what they are meant to do and share their message and help all other human beings by just being them. So I really hold the space for this healing, for this realiz realization, for women to reclaim and see themselves and honor themselves and love and accept themselves without wanting to be anything other than who they are. So through this process there is a lot of belief work, mindset work, having to learn to be compassionate and accepting with yourself, having to look at these shadows, process traumas, all of these things, it's a very in-depth process and what I do is offer that facilitation. I hold that space. I am your accountability partner, your friend, your mentor, your coach, but more than anything, a mirror to share stories and experiences with you and to hold you in that place and allow you to be vulnerable and seen and loved and heard from wherever you're at so you can work through that process of embodiment. Recently, I have been on a tough love kind of kick with my clients and really pushing them to not enable their own shitty behavior. And I'm realizing more and more the importance of having that balance, right? Of that compassion and that love, but being firm and holding that masculine energy that is like creating that container. Like, okay, I love you so much that I'm not gonna allow you to do this anymore. And it's when we really marry those two energies, that feminine love and acceptance and compassion, and that masculine structure and boundaries and firmness that we really create the space to be the complete, complex version of who we are and to really make those big shifts that are gonna last for a long time in our lives. I am super passionate about what I do. I love connecting with women, especially love the one-on-one -on -one work. I love holding that space and allowing women to heal and watching them rise into their power, watching them change their mindsets and really becoming this woman that they have always been, just like allowing themselves to be the truth of their being, letting go of comparison, letting go of competition with other women and allowing us to come together and rise together as a sisterhood, as the Divine Feminine Collective, as as our own unique goddesses but when we come together we are so powerful and so fierce and so beautiful and especially when we are dropped into our hearth and our own truth everything is magic from that place so yeah this is what I do this is why I do what I do I'm super passionate about this woman work I know that I am meant to be a friend and a facilitator for women on this journey to self-love and I feel in every vessel of my being it's the medicine I need it's the medicine that I have cultivated through my own experiences and I am continuing continuing to learn lessons that are giving me even more medicine to be able to do this work and to facilitate this space it's definitely a path that found me and that I was brought to I love doing this work and I'm so grateful for every single one of you for being here, all of my clients, anyone who my content inspires and uplifts, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey. If you are curious about working with me, I am starting an eight week program on October 1st. It's going to be an eight week journey where we will meet one on one every week for eight weeks and then every other week throughout that eight week process we meet as a circle with the other women who are part of the program and hold space for each other. And throughout the eight weeks, what we're really doing is just bringing you to this place of embodiment. So helping you learn these lessons and concepts that you've known, that you've understood, that you have really resonated with or wanted to embody. And we're going to help you bring that all the way in so you are living from that place and being, acting as if you already are that woman you want to be, which you already are, but we are going to help you get all the way there. So that's what the eight week journey is about. 
for self-love, for healing, for expansion, for becoming that embodied woman who is knowing her worth, standing in her power, not letting anyone treat her any way that is not in complete alignment with who she is. We are not going to enable your shitty behavior. We're not going to allow yourself to treat yourself any less than a queen because that's the truth of who you are and that's the energy I want you to embody. I want you to know your worth so fiercely and so fully that you are not being swayed from your beauty and your light. And that is what I am here to help you do. So if you're interested in working with me, the link will be in the description box. But either way, thank you so much for being here. I will continue to post content about self-love, about my own journey, about woman empowerment, and help you be the queen I know you are. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you guys, and I will see you again very soon.